Okay, this is a video that you must watch, in my opinion, because it can save you a lot of headache in your computer, especially with viruses and all that. This is almost like one of those insider things that are that us technicians use to clean customers' laptops and PCs and all that most of the time. Now, there is, of course, deeper things that you can do, but this one is the main thing we do and before you go ahead please hit that subscribe button that's sparkling down there and go ahead this is kaspersky you can use i think norton and some others have it too it's free by the way this is a free tool this is not something you pay or that you need kaspersky accounts at all and what you do here i'll leave a link on description it's a rescue disk it's free you click download here first i already have it as you see it's like 600 something megabytes when it's finished downloading if you want to put it on a usb or a cd or whatever you want to do it's gonna be very easy you can click here if you want to go through the steps it's very very easy and intuitive but we're gonna do it right here together instead here i'm gonna choose my usb it's just a regular 16 gigabyte usb it's an iso image we're gonna go and select that ISO image, it's right here that I have. Yes, 692 megabytes. Click open and make sure this part here is on MBR, BIOS, or UEFI. And this one must be at FAT32. Here, the name, you can do whatever you want. In my case, I'm just going to put Kaspersky, just like that. Hit start. And here, yes, you must do right and uh, in ISO image mode because we are going to run this USB on the system after this part is done and here is a 2.2 but the application only includes the installation files grub 206 and you hit yes if that prompt comes up to you and hit ok and wait for it to do its thing and when it's done you will have a usb that you can plug on either a laptop or computer that you want to clean and start that machine from this usb on bios we're going to do that in just a minute and after it's done it will say ready you just close this and yes that's what you will have in your uh drive just as you see right here just close it eject it turn off uh, your computer so we don't have a problem with that just like this click shutdown and you are ready to go and let's take a look how this is executed on an actual machine and here we are with one of the laptops at least i'm just gonna get a random so we have the usb that we just made right here and we're just gonna plug it in in kind of any of the ports at this point just gonna choose a good one that fits tight and nice right here boom and then and this particular one whatever you want to call the bios menu startup menu is gonna be on if i'm not wrong f9 at least for hps so we're gonna try f9 yep boot device menu and we choose the usb that we made it's this one right here and yes you're gonna see those vibrations that's very beautiful and you'll be presented to this screen right here enter chose english you can go with anything here but at this point i'm gonna go with graphic mode instead of limited graphics mode so let me see if you can see a little bit better really quick and the flickering is horrendous so I hope you understand what we're doing anyway. So here we're going to go with graphic mode and hit enter. And yes, this flickering, I, I have to change the whole camera frame rate and all that good stuff. And I'm not going to do it this time. I'll just uh, live through it. We're here just to show you what, what I'm doing. And you can apply to your own devices as you wish with that. So we'll wait for this to kind of get ready and loaded up oh, hold on my phone anyway so we are ready right here and now we have to agree to sell our soul here to this computer accept we don't need to show this and wait for this thingy right here to initialize and do its own things and then uh we'll be ready to scan connection established so let's try it again okay and now we have to start scanning i know there should
should be really nothing on this computer, but this is just for demonstration purposes, and the camera is really horrific. The graphics are way better in real life, but somehow this one just decides to make it look really, really bad because I don't have my uh, external capture card here, so I have to live with this right now. And as you see, what do you would probably notice here is that you have a start menu right here and it looks just like a normal uh linux distro would be you have all accessories archive manager clipment screenshot task manager and all that good stuff settings power management so you could you could possibly theoretically live with this one just run it as an operating system. I know that sounds not the smartest thing to do, but it is very possible to do. Is you have a web browser right here that you can actually play with. And here's the Kaspersky rescue tool itself. And if you want to get out of here, you click leave and it gives you an option to shut down. And besides that, you have these product folder volume. As you see right here, you have legal notices quarantine reports which we don't really have much to say about that and i know i'm not gonna have any threats here because this is kind of a new installation so there should in reality be nothing so let's wait for the scan to finish and yes this is how you scan your computer without turning on your windows at all so it's almost done and when it's done we'll get back to you and as you see scan completed and it found nothing wrong and i knew that was the case here i have extra tools registry editor windows unlocker usb recover and whatnot here's the quarantine if you had any objects that got uh caught in the scan would be right here here would be the report of your scan that you can uh, check what it went through, what it did, started this time, finished this time. And pretty much there is not a lot to say. It's a free tool and it's a really good tool, by the way. I highly suggest you make a little tiny USB for it and have it with you. You never know when you need to scan from outside without starting Windows. And in my opinion, Kaspersky does a phenomenal job. I've had it for years and I always use Kaspersky when it comes to this stuff. So yeah, this is it. Allow all cookies. Well, I guess we're inside your system, so I'm not allow you to have cookies, but watch out that sugar. Anyway, I'm not going to load any pages as I don't need it because I'm done. Just going to click here, click leave and hit shut down. Boom. And it should get out of here in a second do not remove the usb yet until the shutdown procedure is fully finished uh, unless you like to corrupt the system then then it's up to you but with that said yep this was the kaspersky on a usb that you can scan your laptop or pc or whatnot without starting the system so you actually have a complete and full scan with that said let me take this phone call and we'll see you next time bye